So he's still listed for heart transplant. We hope to transplant him as, as soon as that organ becomes available. But in the meantime, he can be at home and he can be functional and he can continue to rehabilitate himself so that he's in the best possible fitness when his opportunity comes. He lived with the device for 555 days before a successful transplant this month. And now Stan will join us and he has a few words. I'm very emotional roller coaster. Two weeks ago I got the surgery, so it was a good success. I like I enjoyed the backpack. It bridged me a long way. It brought my my life back to make me the health as healthy as I am now. And Stan, um, you can see how he looked there. That's on his artificial heart at home. That's how he looked like a week after his uh, implant. I mean he just really thrived on the device. Uh, in fact, uh, the device, the Freedom Driver, I think had to be exchanged about 10 times while he was at home because this thing wasn't built for pickup basketball. And so he um, really pushed the envelope, uh, at least as far as what the company's intentions were with this technology. I first want to say on behalf of all of us, uh, Stan and, and Dominique, um, you're heroes to all of us. Um, the fact that you actually take your story public and you allow us uh, to teach others uh, makes a difference. You'll make a difference for a lot of patients. As we heard from Dr. Haft, you make a difference for the doctors of the future. And, and, and we thank you for allowing us to share your story and for your bravery in, in sharing it.